click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss the concept of inventory turnover ratio relating to material cost. Let us see the question. The following data are available in respect of material X for the year ended 31st March 2015. Opening stock 90,000. Purchases during the year 270,000. Closing stock 110,000. We are required to calculate inventory turnover ratio and we are required to calculate the number of days for which average inventory is held. What is the inventory turnover ratio? Let us understand this. Inventory turnover ratio is one of the technique used by management for inventory control. The formula of inventory turnover ratio is cost of material consumed during the period divided by average stock held during the period. The answer is usually we are getting in times. Now what is cost of material consumed? The formula for cost of material consumed is opening stock plus purchases of material minus closing stock of material. Now what is the average stock? The opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. The basic purpose of calculating inventory turnover ratio is to understand the relationship between cost of material consumed and average stock held of that particular product that particular material based on this ratio we can have some conclusion for example we can understand the fast moving stock if inventory turnover ratio is high then we understand that that particular stock will be called as fast moving stock. If inventory turnover ratio is less, then we say that it is a slow moving stock. If there is no movement in stock, as there is no demand, then it will be categorized as dormant stock. If a particular stock is in no longer demand, that means it will not be used in future, it will be called as what? Obsolete stock. So we classify stocks in these various categories based on inventory turnover ratio. So this ratio helps management to take important decisions about the inventories. If inventory turnover ratio is very high, we say that it is a fast moving stock. If it is slow, if it is inventory turnover ratio is low, we say that slow moving stock. But if inventory turnover ratio is very high, then there is need of investigation by the management. Because very high, Inventory turnover ratio indicates that there will be possibility of shortage of materials because stocks are moving very fast. Similarly, if there is inventory turnover ratio is very low, there will be requirement of investigation to find out why there is excessive stock kept by the management because it will result in losses 
if there will be fall in the price of stock or if there will be no demand for the stock or stock may get destroyed by fire or theft therefore in that case investigation will be required by the management company is required to compare its own inventory turnover ratio as in the past as with the current so that they can arrive at some decisions or inventory turnover ratio of our company we can compare with the other company in same industry that is the advantage of inventory turnover ratio we have let us see one question we have the details to find out cost of material consumed opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock we have opening stock 90000 purchases we have 270000 minus closing stock 110000 so it comes to 250000 next we are required to find out average stock opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 opening stock 90,000 closing stock 110,000 divided by 2 So average stock is 1 lakh. Next is inventory turnover ratio that is equal to Cost of material consumed divided by average stock. Two lakh fifty thousand divided by one lakh. So inventory turnover ratio is two point five times. Second, they have asked the number of days for which the average inventory is held. number of days average inventory held so we have to take 365 days in a year divided by divided by inventory to no ratio So number of days average inventory is held 146 days. So in this question we have understood how to calculate inventory turnover ratio and number of days inventory held and the basic concept relating to different types of stocks like fast moving stock, slow moving stock, dormant stock, absolute stock etc. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.